morning guys welcome to another day my chair is coming i'm so happy i just spotted the delivery guy outside i look like one church mouse because i don't understand where all my clothes are Ubi is sorting through clothes today and boxes so yeah i just came downstairs to get my chair okay he's here yo good morning I'm just gonna just double check because the last time it wasn't the right color. Uh, yep, okay, that's it. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I get help moving it in, please? Thank you. She goes in here. Thanks. Um, thank you so much. No problem. Bye. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yay, guys, my chair is here. I'm so happy. Now I can actually go out. The internet guys are coming um, today. They just called. They're going to be here between 10 and 12, which is really, really good because we, we just need to leave the house. Like the these people have kept us homebound for a while. So guys, I want to give you guys like a quick update of what's been happening. Um, yesterday, guys, I started feeling sick again. I don't know if you guys can hear a little bit of the cough and Katari voice. Um, I was down. <laughs> the girl was down yesterday. So I didn't do anything yesterday. I just rushed there. Obi was such a sweetheart. He just like took over. We didn't build anything yesterday, but he just essentially cleared the living area a bit because we had cartons everywhere. And I'm such a neat freak <laughs> that even as I was lying down upstairs resting yesterday, I was literally having nightmares because I was like, my living room is a mess. My living room is a mess. So just imagine my shock when, as it was like, babe, just rest. So imagine my shock when I came downstairs and the living room was looking like a same person's house. I was like, oh my God. And then he had cooked as well. Um, I, I woke up, I got off of bed like three and I was feeling really down, guys. I'm just grateful to God that I feel better. I felt like, my body was shutting down because i just put my body through a lot lately um we've definitely been through some challenges these few days that we've been moving just a lot a lot like moving into an unfurnished new build is no jokes <laughs> don't be deceived bro it is no jokes it's actually very stressful um but yeah right now i need to go out yes I'm coming. I'm here. I'm here. I'll soon go now. Um. So yeah, I'm supposed to. So this is what's happening. We're having friends over, friends and family over for Christmas tomorrow. My first Christmas. Um. So I'm planning to go to Primark. I want to go and get a few things, and I also want to shop for like breakfast because there's going to be a sleepover. Can imagine our first house and we're having a sleepover so um so yeah i want to go there now ubi has to stay home because the internet guys will be here in an hour and he needs to make sure that everything is fine plus he's still decluttering the second room that room is supposed to actually be ubi's office slash extra walking closet not really a walking closet but like space to put extra wardrobes for our stuff because we have a lot of stuff um we haven't started like decorating or doing anything serious with the rooms but that will come with time now we're just trying to get the house ready for at least a first sleepover so to not keep over talking let's head out now yeah and then i'll come home the dining table chairs are coming today I actually wanted to be home when they bring it but that's okay um i'll see it. i'm just going to tell Obi not to unbox anything until I get here. Even the chairs, I'm not boxing anything until I'm gone. I'm back. Okay, see you guys later. Oh, I think I wanna check out H&M Home first. Let's see if they have any cute stuff that I can take away like now. So 
guys bad news that's where the internet port is and the internet guy is here he just said it's not possible because it's a trip hazard to connect wires all the way here because this is the gate so this is not gonna work he has to come back with construction team they need to change his spots somewhere there but he cannot do it so most likely no internet for christmas i'm just really upset because first of all yesterday i've not been able to watch tv or do anything yesterday night i was really bored so i used my data on my phone to do to watch netflix this morning they sent me a message saying I've run out of data. All my mind was, oh, my internet is going to be up today. So that's my big deal. So now I'm out of data on my phone and there's no internet in this house. We have guests over. I don't just know how that's going to be with everybody not having internet. Um, I really feel like the landlord did a very shitty job. Yes, it's a new build, but they just made a lot of stupid decisions. Like they didn't just plan or build the place like somebody was going to live in it there's so many things that have we have encountered in this place that i just feel like it's one every day it, there's one problem that we have to deal with because we're the first set of people to move in here which is very very frustrating like common sense should let you know that you don't put the internet cable stuff smack by the gate and if because the excuse he might have is that this internet stuff existed even before this building was because initially this building was one building but now they've split it into two so perhaps the gate has been repositioned you having sense as a construction person or whatever because the landlord is actually like a construction guy and this is like many of several projects this is, you're not a newbie the easiest thing to do would be like hey let me call this internet people to come and move their wires to the side of the building the guy now is even telling us that they will still need to even run the wire from the back and then bore a hole through the wall and we still need to take permission for him to be able to do that from the landlord we already told the landlord about this internet thing earlier this week and he's like oh it's fine it's fine it's fine don't worry internet is not going to be an issue the cable is just right outside like as if he doesn't live in the house and know how these things work so now i don't even understand what we're going to do i'm going to try and see if i can find like a temporary solution somewhere maybe like a router i used to have like a small routing box but the thing is with our things everywhere and we don't know where anything is i don't even know where that box thing where that myfi is so yeah this is just a pain okay guys i am here at vodafone to get um temporary internet solution but yeah once i'm done here i'm going to go home the girl said they definitely have my fi i'm just praying it actually works in our area she said she's gonna give me like a 30 day plan so like a month's plan even though i don't need a month and yeah and it's gonna be ready so we're gonna solve internet today we don't need wires or anything i'm essentially just getting a my fi or you know like a small portable device yeah that's what i'm getting so guys i'm back home from my one million shopping um i was really tired so vodafone still did us dirty they were charging like 99 pounds so thankfully obi went out and saved the day so we got like a really small wi-fi it's actually plugged back here i can't really show you now but so christmas has been saved we have temporary wi-fi to use depending the time virgin does their installation and i think before i left i showed you guys that the um accent chair came i'm going to unbox that now other things that came actually the dining chairs so we received them we're also going to unbox that now i'm very very happy to do the unboxing these are the chairs we got four of them um let me call obi this is the accent chair this needs to be fixed and then i need to sweep this area um so yeah oh guys it's so cool to finally have somewhere where i can put all my magnets these are all the magnets that i've collected from all my travel i even stopped collecting after a while because there was nowhere to put these but now that i have a metal surface in my house 
going to start collecting again i've got a lot of them so yeah obi yeah. i'm ready i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like seeing not no breath low dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow All the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo Smile so much to hide my sorrow Faith is shaky in Verado I can't hold frown too long I can't stay down too long I can't hold frown too long I can stay down too long Running from pain, running from strain Running from things, running from schemes I can hold my dining chair i love it i love the black it smells like mad chemical that's peppering eye but i don't know if you guys are trying to see the vibe it kind of matches my tv console you know and it's foldable so it's very very practical for when we don't need all the chairs out we can always take it away i like the way it looks from the back it really matches the dining table it's got like a little bit of curve here which is very i think ergonomic of them <laughs> but yeah so we'll unbox the remaining we got four of those so yeah i'm just gonna see how this fits in here oh my god i can't hold fire Like a little boy. <laughs> so cute. Next up on our unboxing is the accessories. Next up on our unboxing is the accessories. I'm uncomfortable with my skin. I'm uncomfortable with my ends. I'm uncomfortable with my friends. I'm uncomfortable with my drinking. I'm uncomfortable with my thinking. I'm uncomfortable with my waist. I'm uncomfortable in this space. I'm uncomfortable on good days. I'm uncomfortable on bad days. I'm uncomfortable with my soul. I'm uncomfortable with my heart. I'm uncomfortable with myself. I'm uncomfortable with my heart. I'm uncomfortable with my thoughts. I'm uncomfortable with my feelings. Guys, I'm so happy. It's all done. So for is in. Accenture is in. Hi guys, welcome to another day. Um, I'm not even sure what day it is at this point. I just know every day has just been back to back to back. So the tone or the vibe of this house is very, is like neutral tones, gray, white, beige, those kind of, you know, tones. That's what I'm going for, which is why I decided to change my dishes, guys. Anyway, I went to Ikea this evening to get a few things. So I'm going to be showing you everything I got from Ikea. So I got different sets. Let me show you. So I also got like the white plates as well and bowls so i feel like bowl a large white bowl and then a deeper bowl i just got this few and um, yeah eventually i'll get more but for now i think this is okay uh, i got this drying rack and the absorbent pad because it's not every time that someone is going to use um dishwasher to wash the dishes so i really like this because this absorbs water so again i got a color that matches my flat um i got this divider for my plates because house is new so it doesn't come with any of those um i got new sets of cutlery as well just to complement what we already have um i'll unbox that later I got extra scissors because we're always looking for scissors in this house um so yeah these were like one pound so i was like why not um oh i bought this because of my sister kessiana every time she's like making chicken and she's adding like the liquid butter on it she always uses it to like really you know make that um, chicken glisten glistening well you guys get what i'm trying to say basically for cooking you need a brush if you're going to be applying them like egg white or something like that and yeah because Christmas around the corner we might be baking so i saw it and i was like oh, kissing i'll be so proud of me for buying this so yeah and then i got table mats very colorful table mats because christmas so i got red 
<laughs> I think it's so bright and nice. Like on Christmas days, we're well, going to use. I'm gonna use these. They're they're just basically like cloth, but they're just so bright and red. And I love the pop of color as well. Um, I got bath mats for the bathroom because now we have a guest bathroom. So yeah, we need an extra one. So this is going upstairs. I also got like a foot mat. I have a foot mat outside, but I want one just in front of the staircase just so that you wipe your feet before going into like the bedroom area so like your feet is really really clean and speaking of feet being very clean i got house slippers they're so cool i actually like them a lot i got house slippers for myself and okay <laughs> i think we'll wear this in the living room again it's just so that again this is because I have a very light colored sofa and so I want to make sure that our feet is like always clean in case somebody mistakenly puts their leg on the sofa. Personally, I'm really forbidding everybody in this house from putting their leg on the sofa. No leg on the sofa. But yeah, I might falter. But personally, I think it's just nice to have house comfy slippers different from other like sorts of slippers that you wear at home. <laughs> I got hand towels for the guest bathroom. So we have two guest toilets. We have one downstairs and we have one upstairs. So I bought four. Two are gonna be here and two is gonna be upstairs. And then I got a light colored troll to sort of complement my sofa as well. And this is so soft and so lush. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. I'm a very, I love trolls. So Obi knows. So guys, this is like my favorite thing that I bought. I got glassware. Um, I don't know why we women, I don't know about everybody, but for me in particular, I've been aching to actually get some new glassware. This one just gives me like cathedral vibes and I really like them a lot. <laughs> Let me know if I want to know what you guys think. See, oh my god, guys, I think you guys can actually see. Let me bring this really close. Let me be sure that it's actually in focus. Let me show you. Like, look at that detail. It's so pretty. Like, what? It's really, really nice. Well, I love it so much. I like the detail. I didn't want something plain, but I just thought this was so cute. Like, ah, I can't wait to actually drink wine in these. They're really, really, really nice. So I actually wanted to buy some more. There was, oh, I spent a lot of time in this bill. I was like, I say, hold yourself because there's no money. <laughs> and then this is like regular drinking glass. Um, again, with the theme of the house, it has like a gray black tint, which I really, really love. I hope this is actually like coming through if you guys can actually see the gray nature i just like how simple it is and i like that it's wide enough here as well so yeah i got this is also comes in a pack of four <sighs> early times we're beginning we're starting we're starting the family a home so yeah i'm very very excited so yeah that's all that we got guys <laughs>